Hi, in this short video we are going to look at how to export a model from Revit to the virtual environment, run the steady state heating cooling loads and export the results from these calculations back into Revit. The first point we need to look at is where the data is held within Revit. To do this, select a space within your model and look at the properties dialog. Next we will export our model to the VE via a GBXML file. Now we need to create a space schedule within Revit. We will use this to synchronise the space data between Revit and the VE via Excel. In this demonstration a plugin for Revit called RF Tools is utilised. Once you've created your space schedule, go to the RF Tools tab within Revit, select the Spaces option from the Filter tab, Go to the Excel tab, select the Revit Schedules option and select the space schedule you've created already. Click Export. This will launch Excel and you can see your schedule there. Take care at this point to remove any erroneous spaces from your schedule. Now we're going to import our GBXML file into the virtual environment. We can check our BIM report just to check the geometry is okay. Now that we're in the V, if we go to Apache, click on our Sibsy Lobes tab and run our steady state calculations. From here, click on Apache and then click on our tabular room data. From this tab, we will find the results from our calculations. So we can export this back into Excel. On this tab there's quite a lot of data, so we're just going to hide the data that we're not interested in at this point. We're also going to sort this data so that it matches up with the room schedule from Revit. This can be done here in Excel or back in Tab Edit. Once this is done, we can then copy and paste our heating and cooling loads into our Revit schedule. Save this, open up Revit again, and from the RF tab, import your room schedule. That also has the room data from the calculations within the virtual environment. And that's you. You have your heating and cooling loads back in your Revit model. We can check this on a room by room basis if you want. 
by selecting a space from your model.